channel. Thanks for joining me at the Natural Lifestyle Show today. Today I'm going to be making some chocolate avocado pudding. It's the yummiest chocolate pudding I've ever had and I love to make it. What you'll need here is two large avocados or medium to large and you want them very ripe so they make a very creamy rich pudding. I've cut these in two and I'm going to take the pits out and a tip to get the pits out is to set it down and stab it with the knife and then you can pull the pit right out. Before I learned that little trick it, got, it could be a little bit messy to get the pits out. But you have to be careful doing this, of course. <laughs> there we go. Got a little bit of that. I don't want to miss any of my avocado. Okay, and also we have organic raw honey. So this is not vegan because I like raw honey in it. But you could use um, maple syrup. If you use agave nectar, you could use that. Um, and also stevia. Sometimes I've used honey and the stevia, so I didn't use quite so much honey. And I have Trader Joe's cocoa powder. Um, some people use cacao powder, but I don't. I've tried it before and it, I have a really bad reaction to it. I don't like cacao powder. So just take a spoon and put the avocados in the blender. I'm using my Ninja Blend, no not my Ninja, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm using my Blendtec blender here. I have used the Ninja blender before. With the Ninja blender and with the food processor, you'll have like a really, really creamy pudding. But when you use the Blendtec like this, it's really high powered and it gets a lot of movement going so it makes it more like a chocolate mousse and I really like that a lot. As a matter of fact after it's made you know I stir it up to get some of the air out because it's really really airy after you make it in the blend tech. And I would imagine it would be the same in the Vitamix as well since they're pretty much the same thing. Um, a little bit of a bad spot on that one so I'm taking that out. because they're so ripe that there are a few bad spots here and there. Okay, so have the two avocados in the blend tech here. And I'm going to put like about two heaping teaspoons of um, honey. So this would probably equal really to be about a tablespoon, maybe a little more than, well, probably about a tablespoon. I really like the flavor that this raw honey gives to the avocado pudding. To me it doesn't really seem, you know, taste right without it because I've always made it this way. And the brand I like is the Trader Joe's um, Raw Honey from Mexico, grade A. I've tried the other raw honeys, but this just has a really good flavor. Mmm. I love it. And I put one teaspoon of cocoa powder because I don't like to eat that much chocolate. I don't. I try to stay away from stimulants, but a little bit's okay. Now, I went a long time without eating any chocolate at all but I've just recently started back eating some. And again, this is a pretty heaping one too. I guess I believe in heaping uh, taste, tablespoons, teaspoons, and a little bit of water. When you use the food processor or the Ninja, um, you don't really need water, but with this I have found that I do need some water. And I have half a cup of water here. Um, I'm just going to put the whole half cup in there. And you could probably even put a little bit more if you want it, but this is what I'm going to do. Put the top on and blend it. I'm using the whole juice cycle and blend it up. It's going to sound like an airplane taking off with this. <laughs> and so, here we go.
was about 40 seconds of blending and it smells delightful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Some people eat it with like strawberries or whatever. I just eat it like it is. I mean, why mess with a good thing? <laughs> and with the amount of cocoa that I put in, it still has a very, very slight greenish tint. And that's okay with me. But if you want to put more in, it'll be a deeper chocolate. It's pretty perfect. Pretty perfect. And this is the avocado chocolate pudding. Um, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about it. And please subscribe to our videos and sign up for our newsletter. And we'll see you soon. Bye.